So you've added a page to your shirt website, but you have no idea how to put it in the menu bar. Well, don't worry because I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. I'm Melissa of Superhero Design and I create bold brands for ambitious women online. Let's get to the video. I'm going to walk you through how to add more pages to your navigation menu at the top. So say you add a page and you want to add a link to your header, or maybe you just want to add an outside link to maybe like a shop page like to Shopify and your header, I'm going to tell you how to do that. So once you're in the editor, go ahead and hover over your header canvas. This is going to apply to all the pages. Click on edit header. It pulls up the header and you can see we have all these text box links here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to the left by just dragging it over and I'm going to copy it by on my computer clicking command copy or if you're on a PC, I think it would be control copy, control C, I mean, command C or control C. And then I'm gonna hit command V, which pasted the item over the other item. So see it created two and now I'm just moving them around. You can also see these separate items on the left hand side. Uh, you can see I can click on home two is now listed twice. So select the one that you want to change the link and I'm just going to call it shop now or something like that. Um, you can also move these items around and they're just spaced out. Um, kind of use your eye here and just space them out as evenly as you can. Do the blog over here. I'm just going to put shop here. Move that over. Just kind of play with it. And then as you can see, when I click on each of these items on the right hand side, the horizontal locking is set to right, which means that whenever the screen gets big, all of these items are going to veer to the right. So hold on, and I will show you what I mean. I'm going to click on Publish. Click on the website. So everything moved over to the right. So as the screen gets smaller, it just aligns to the right-hand side. If you wanted to change that, you could. However, this is the way that that template is set. Up. So now to change where this link actually goes, you click on the link on the right hand side under click actions, you're going to see that the link type is linked to a page and it is linked to home too. Now let's say I wanted to just go to a regular URL, I'm going to click on URL and I would just paste in my URL here. So maybe it's uh, HTTP, I'll just call it Shopify. Com. You could really make it go anywhere you want. I'm going to click open in a new window because that's just a good rule of thumb if you're linking out to another website to open a new window so they can easily get back to your website. So I'm going to click on publish. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to refresh the page, click on shop now, and it links to Shopify. So, but whenever I close the tab, it goes back to my website. That's why I clicked that one checkbox to open in new window. And that is how you add a new page to the header. Now, make sure that you also do that to the mobile web, uh, menu. So if you go back to home page here on the left, click on the canvas mobile menu. You can see it highlighting here on the mobile display. Click on edit mobile menu. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing over here. So I'm gonna click on copy about Camilla and I'm gonna paste and see it created too, so I can drag it around to wherever I need it to go. I can move some stuff around. Let me drag these down here, move this over here. I'm gonna call shop now. And do the same exact thing. So I'm gonna to link to Shopify. This is the menu that's gonna show up only on your mobile phone. But you wanted to have the same links, so I'm gonna click on publish. And there you go. Now it's going to also be in your mobile. And I will show you what the mobile looks like by making this smaller. You can see Shop Now is there. You can mess with this spacing and just adjust it as needed in your mobile editor. But that is how you add a link to your navigation menu in Showing. 